welcome to Kingdom Atmosphere. This program is paid for by Kingdom Impact International Center and Kingdom Citizens. In this program, you will learn that the Bible is not a religious book. It is my honor to present Pastor Moise Kabongo, Senior Pastor of KIIC. Good evening, brother and sister, wherever you are, and welcome to your magazine of teaching called Kingdom Atmosphere. I am back after a long travel to Africa, missionary travel, to impact the world with the true message of the kingdom of God. Brother and sister, friend, call your neighbor. Ask them to turn on, on channel 22, Rally Network Cable, or 108.8 Nadal. I am very pleased today because two weeks ago, we have our second new book. I have released my second new book and this time it is in English, and the title is The True You in You. The True You in You. This is a book that a great man of God, a world leader, motivator speaker, who is also my spiritual father, Dr. Miles Monroe advise and accept to write the foreword. It is a privilege and honor. And I'm asking you, if you follow this program and you want to have a copy of this book, call the number that you will see and we will have a special discount for you. Because if you go out and you can see this book maybe in a Walmart, is more expensive than if you call during our program. And thank you, I'm Pastor Moise Kabongo, the founder and senior pastor of Kingdom and Path International Center here in Raleigh, North Carolina in the US. And our topic today, we want to understand really what is be born again. Our topic today is the mystery of the new creation. Because brother and sister, I will start with one statement that I like. If you did not get from God the purpose of your life, you will not get it or you will not know who you are. Because who you are, you cannot get it from your parents. You cannot get it from your classroom. You cannot get it from your job. You cannot get it from your neighbor. You cannot get it from your boss. Only the manufacturer, God, knows the purpose of his product. Therefore, we need to stick, we have to stick to the manual, the Bible, to know the purpose of our life. And I will read quickly one, one sentence there in my book. I start with one good sentence. I would like that myself. I read it every day. I say, until you know the truth about you, you are living a liar. I do not trust anybody to tell me the truth about me. Because the truth about me, nobody really knows. Only Father knows the, the truth about you. That's why today I will go deep in our manual called the Bible. And when you understand that the Bible is not a religious book, that the Bible is a constitution, you will understand that. When you become a born again, you do not become a member of any denomination or 
a member of the church. Brother and sister, we have on earth only two types of mankind. We have only two types of mankind. We have Adamic one, that, is, that means people who still been born of Adam. That is people who, are, who have not yet accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. They still belong to the race Adamic. And then we have the mankind called Christ. That is people who has accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And we call them born again. When you become born again, you are now citizen of the kingdom of God. You have now the nature of Christ in you. But you need to understand now there's a new nature in you. You need to understand now how you should live, by which principle, by which constitution. Like I say in uh, many programs, I say that when you become born again, you become a citizen of a country you do not become a member of any church. And let me read for you 1 Corinthians. Let us read 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 45 to 49. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 45 to 49. Please take a notepad and a pencil or a pen. Because everything I will say is in the Bible. I will not say anything that is not in the Bible. Let us read that. The Bible say, And so it is written, The first man Adam became a living being. The last Adam became a, li a life-giving spirit. However, the spiritual is not first, but the natural, and afterward, the spiritual. The first man was of the earth, made of dust. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As was the man of dust, so also are those who are made of dust. And as is the heavenly man, so also are those who are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the man of dust, we shall also, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly man. It is black and white there that we have two kinds of men on earth. The Adamic is still being victim and slave of Satan. And then we have the Christ, the born again, who cannot be more victim of Satan. And you need to understand that when you become born again, we generally call people who, as the nature of God in them, Christian. And I will show you that a Christian has its origin from the resurrection of Christ. And let us read quickly First Peter chapter 1. Verse 3. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3. Let us read. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Wow. 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 
who has begotten us to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Of Jesus Christ from the dead. That means that our origin is now the resurrection of Christ. That means that when you become a born again, you are born from the resurrection of Christ. Your origin is Christ. It's very important, brother and sister. Because if you don't understand that, you will become born again, but you still thinking that your old nature still been in you. No, no. But let us first understand why, why, how Jesus is the son and also the father. Let us go quickly to Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 to 7. Because we need to understand the mystery of this new creation. The, mis the mystery of this new creation. The born again. The citizen of the kingdom of God. Let us read Isaiah 9, verse 6 to 7. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. I will, I will explain something here before we continue. The Bible says, unto us a child is born. A child is born. Unto us a son is given. A son is given. Because the son there was God, Christ. And no one can give birth to God. Mary did not give birth to God. Mary gave birth to a body, child, called Jesus Christ. But Mary did not give birth to God. And I can boldly say that Mary is not the mother of God. He gave birth to a child, body, called Jesus Christ. Because God cannot be born. And let us continue reading. And the government will be upon his shelter. The Bible is telling us clearly here that Jesus came with a government. A government of born again. And his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government. Oh, I love my Bible. He say, of the increase of his government. Brother and sister, look here. He say, if he is a wonderful counselor. Mighty God, everlasting Father, everlasting Father. You see, Jesus was a son, and God, and the Father, Father of what? Because Jesus came to give birth to a new mankind that is no more subject to the kingdom of darkness. And for a long, long time, the church has never explained to people very deep what means be born again. That's why today we see in the church, people who belong to Christ, people who are born again, but they are victim of the device, of tricks of the devil. They are sick, broke, Poor. Everything that defines Satan with his device, you find that in Christian. 
No, it's the lack of identity. And I will explain today the difference for you to understand is a mystery. Now you understand that your origin, when you give your life to Christ, you are born from the resurrection of Christ. We have teaching, you can call our ministry and all the some teaching. I have a teaching called a Christian is not a redeem, but he is a fruit of redemption. That's why Paul did understand that. That's why Paul say in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17, he say, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. Everything is from God. Why Paul say it? Because he knew that when you become born again, you are born from the resurrection of Christ. You are not the Redeemer. The Redeemer one died with him. The Redeemer one died when Jesus was dead. When Jesus died on the cross, the Redeemer died. Now when Jesus was re re resurrected, you came, you and I born again. We came from the resurrection in the newness of life. That's why you will see in the Bible that before Jesus' death, the Bible called Jesus the only beloved son of God. But after the death and the resurrection, things change. Now Jesus is called the first born from the dead. And I will explain to you. The first born from the dead. I will explain that to you. Let us read to understand that first. Let us read Matthew chapter 3 verse 17. Matthew chapter 3 verse 17. Let us read. Matthew chapter 3 verse 17 say, And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Wow. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. God, when Adam failed, God never called anyone my beloved son. Even the Jew in the Old Testament, they were not sons of God. They were servants of God. It's when Jesus came and he died, he took all our sin, that thing changed. That now he was no more the only begotten son of God, but he was the first one from the dead. Because our origin came from the death of the, from the death and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Let us read that in Romans chapter 8, verse 29. Romans chapter chapter 8 verse 29 let us read for whom he for for new he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son that he may be the firstborn among many brethren. The firstborn among many brethren. Jesus is the firstborn among many brethren. Okay, let us read that quickly again in Revelation chapter 1, verse 5. Revelation chapter 1, verse 5. The Bible says, And from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler over the kings of the earth. The firstborn from the dead. Why Jesus now, after his resurrection, is now called the firstborn from the dead? Because you and I, he came to give birth to a new race, the new race of the born again. Our origin is the resurrection. And brother and sister, when you accept Jesus Christ, you are made a new person. You are a new species. You are a new creation that never exists. 
before. And that is why Paul say thing that there is now no more condemnation for those who are born of Christ. And when Paul say, if any man is in Christ, he did not say, if any man is in church. We need to understand that. Because today is the, with religion, there are many divisions. He say, if any man is in Christ, brother and sister, are you in Christ? Do you know what means be born again? Because if you know what means be born again, be in Christ, be of mankind called Christ, be of race called Christ, you are a superhero. Superhero. Sickness have no place in your life. Poverty have no place in your life. Depression has no place in your life. You cannot be a victim of the devil. You cannot be a victim of Satan. Bitterness, condemnation have no place in your life now. But the problem is, we need to understand that the lack of identity is the cause of all suffering. If you don't know who you are, anyone can mess you up. Because Jesus is the first fruit, let us see how Jesus is. The Bible says Jesus is the king. Jesus is the priest. Jesus is the righteous, the light, the blameless, the holy, the peace, the love. That means me as a born again, I am a king. I am a priest. I am the righteous. I am the light. I am the blameless. I am the holy. I am the peace. I am the love. That's why John did understand that John... First John chapter 4, verse 17, it say, Because as he is, so are we in this world. He did not say, so will be us in heaven. No, he says, so are we now in this world. Therefore, the new creation is the creation of kings. And you cannot be king for nothing. A king is a country. You can only be king far away from your father who is a king. That's why he created you in heaven as a spirit. Then he gave you a body, a vessel called this body. He put you far away in the territory called earth for you to do what? To dominate. To dominate the earth with the culture of heaven. And that is what we call in kingdom teaching colonization. Colonization is a citizen of a far country in, the ter in a faraway territory with a mission to change this territory to be like his kingdom where he is from. Brother and sister, we as a born again, we have a mission here is to transform the earth, to transform the earth to become like heaven with the culture of heaven. Our mission here is to shake even the earthly government, is to, 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 put, to, to put this world upside down. That is our mission. We cannot be conformed to this world. Father, I thank you that my people are listening to me this evening. I am very glad that when we read even 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 5, it says that we are all sons of light and sons of day. We are not of the light, of the night, nor of the darkness. Brother and sister, you can see yourself. That is a big subject, the mystery of the new creation. I'm now writing a book to help the Church of Christ today to understand this mystery of the new creation because the church never really explained to people what means be born again. 
Because when you become born again, you are like Christ because you are from the, 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 the mankind called Christ. And the first thing there, he made you righteous. That's why the title of my, my future new book is coming soon. This year is made righteous to rule again, to reign. And I will ask you again, to call our ministry, to go to our website, to order my new book called The True In You, forward by Dr. Miles Monoro. That is a wonderful book, wonderful, wonderful book. When you read it, you can never be the same because God has called me to preach the gospel of revelation. That's the gospel I preach. Because when you meet Christ, you can never be the same again. No one in the Bible met Jesus Christ. And the man still being broke, broke, still being sick, still being depressed, still being subject. No, no one. And why we don't see power today in the church? Because the thing I'm explaining to you, the mystery of the new creation, has, been, has not been taught in the church. Because of time, I know that I will continue next week. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you. By the authority in the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to every bandage in the life of your children. I speak that cancer, diabetes, any kind of sickness has been healed in the name of Jesus. That people are set free. That they now understand that the only one way is Jesus Christ. Brother and sister, I thank you. And I know that in the name of Jesus, you have been healed. You have been set free. I thank you and see you next week. And again, see you, and you are born to be a champion, to be a king and a priest. And the king does not beg. Thank you. Bye. See you next week. Bye. Thank you for tuning in. We welcome you to join us for Sunday celebration at 11 a.m. Also, for Bible studies, Tuesdays, 6.30 p.m at 230 U.S. Highway 70 West, Garner, North Carolina, 27529, next to Urgent Care. Visit our website at www.kingdomimpact.us or call 919-995-0314 or 919-798-5711. Also, watch us every Thursday, Time Warner Cable, Channel 22, 830. Thank you.